everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to vlogmas as well so today's video is actually going to be a what is in bill's stocking for this christmas 2017 i'm also going to be doing one for daisy as well so keep an eye out for that i'm gonna get right into it just so it doesn't take too long and i can show you everything properly so Obviously the first thing that I wanted to show you is his stocking. This is from Mamas and Papas. Daisy has a another one from like the following year and they do personalised stockings every year so I really really like them and they're really good quality and when this baby boy in my tummy is born I'm going to have to get him one as well. But everything goes in here and I try and make sure it fits. Sometimes it doesn't and it's a bit of a bulging stocking if I'm honest but for the most part it's a good size so let me show you what is going in there. I just had a thought actually and thought I would show you their advent calendars because it's kind of related it's like extra presents for Christmas but they're not like main presents and obviously we will be giving these on the 1st of December but Bill has a Nickelodeon Paw Patrol one it was really really inexpensive from Aldi actually and then they are both and this is a big treat bearing in mind but I bought it on Amazon while it was in the sale so it wasn't too bad we have got them the disney zoom zoom advent calendar to share and there's 24 little figurines inside and i think they're gonna love this i've had like the lego ones and the playmobil ones before and they are extra exciting so if you do have the budget go for it but also don't feel bad if you don't as well because they are much of a muchness aren't they but they're gonna share this and then i also bought them this to use as well we're not going to do elf in the shelf that's just us we don't do it but i found found this at my local garden centre and it's the elf hatch egg and you pop this egg into water and then slowly over about 24 hours I think a little elf hatches and I just thought it would be a really really fun way to kick start December so I've also got that for them as well. Now let's get on to what's in Bill's stocking. Now when it comes to my kids stocking I try and actually put all the small presents in there rather than buying things that I think are either a waste of money or they're not going to last very long and things like that. So this is probably quite an expensive way to fill a stocking but I just find this is easier for me because I don't wrap any of them. Yes. And it's also meaning that anything that comes into our house after Christmas Day is something that's going to be really appreciated and will stick around as well. So the first thing, and they both have one of these, is a little selection box. I got this from Poundland for a pound, obviously. And it's got two Milky Bars in, some Jelly Tarts, Smarties, a Kit Kat and an Animal Bar. And I will make them spread this out over the Christmas period, but I thought it was a nice little selection. And this all, if it doesn't fit in their stocking, I will wrap it and give it to them along with their stocking if that makes sense so in no particular order these are the things that are in his stocking that are like toys and things like that so the first thing that i've got is a pack of zoom zoom squishies obviously you saw the calendar bill loves zoom zooms and daisy kind of loves anything that her big brother loves so i got him a pack of these and there's a pack of three and then one hidden zoom zoom inside so he doesn't know what that one's going to be and he loves these and they're a nice little way to fill a stocking and he collects them as well Then the next thing is this, and this is a Creepsters stretchy mole, and it's a squeezy, stretchy prog. And I found this in Toys R Us, and I just thought it'd be right up Bill Street. He loves like stretchy things or weird things and gooey things, and they can play around with it and like throw it around and have fun. And it's from ages three plus, if you were wondering. Then the next thing is this, and it's the Marvel Ultimate Spider Man hopping heads. And basically, they jump to 10 times their own height, and as you can see, See, you can push him down and then when you let go he springs into the air and I just thought this would be a really really fun one I found this in b and Bargains and it's right up Bill Street then also at Toys R Us I picked up a Hatchems Mashems Hatchems and it's like little hatchable animals inside and he really likes things like this and it's nice and small but not too like tacky it should sort of look after itself quite well so I picked one of those up and then I also got a pack of Hot Wheels I think I got these from Poundland maybe I'm not too sure but he's getting Hot Wheels for his birthday and it just seemed silly not to pick them up because then he's got more cars to play with and he's really getting into cars at the moment so I thought they were a really good choice again along the hatching theme I got him some Hatchimals collectibles because he loves this sort of thing he's really really into them so he'll really appreciate those then we also picked out a little Star Wars Lego set nice small one I thought it'd be a little one to do like after Christmas when it gets a little bit you don't know 
know what to do with yourself. And I thought this was a really nice little thing to pop in there because some Lego sets are really nice and small and it keeps them entertained and it's like not something that's going to go to waste so I think you'll really enjoy that. I got him a crusty chocolate bar. It's not actually a chocolate bar because it's got two grocery gangs inside. It's another thing that he likes to collect. He's a big collector is my boy and you get two figurines in here and it was just nice and small and compact and will fit in the stocking nicely. And then finally just the last few bits I got this Poundland Snowman bath bomb which was obviously only a pound and he loves stealing my bath bomb so I thought if he had his own he might leave off mine. And then as well as a Clementine or a Satsuma which I'm going to pop in nearer the time so it doesn't go all mouldy. Um, I had these as well. I have a little chocolate reindeer and some chocolate coins which I feel like a kind of a staple in a stocking and that is probably going to be everything. If I do see some like sort of socks or underpants or something I might throw those in as well if they're like you know not too expensive but I think all in all he'll be really really pleased with that and we always open the stocking first thing on Christmas morning and it's just a great way to get them really giddy and we hang it on the back of their door so hopefully he's really really pleased with those but yes I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe if you are new and you haven't already because I would love to see you stick around for vlogmas and you know future things like the birth of this little baby boy next year and if you are curious about what we've got Daisy for her stocking as well then stay tuned because that video will be coming up very soon but yeah have a lovely day whatever you're up to and I'll see you tomorrow bye